What's good? What's happening? Hope everything's lovely with y'all. Um, another food review. This right here isn't uh, something that I would normally actually purchase. Normally, I would just make a breakfast sandwich myself. But uh, when I went to the grocery store with everybody panicking with everything that's going on, there was not a whole lot to choose from. There's more frozen processed uh pre-cooked stuff then there is actual stuff that you can cook for yourself so uh i grabbed this thought i'd give it a try see how uh how it tastes what uh what it is and share it with y'all so what we got here is a bacon egg and cheese breakfast sandwich on a croissant you get four of these individually wrapped bad boys. Um, pretty sure it's not going to end up looking like that, but we can wish, right? Uh, this is a great value brand, uh, courtesy of good old Wally World. Apparently, it's fully cooked, so if I was really hungry, I could just eat it right out of the package, but I'm sure that would not be the best way to go about doing it. Here's the uh, nutritional facts for y'all that really care about that. I mean, look at the damn sodium in this. And that's for one sandwich. Whoosh. Not recommended for folks with high blood pressure. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Uh, look at the nice uh, list of ingredients there. Whole whack of them just for the croissant alone. Sure, it's all healthy stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's got American cheese on it. Uh, bacon, of course. Um, sure, it's top of the line premium slow bacon. So, uh, basically, here you got to uh, throw it in the microwave for a minute. Or 45 seconds on high. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's let's open this box up and see how they look. All right, so we undressed this bad boy, and uh, that's what they look like. Not quite as thick as that on the package. There's so a lot more squished down. And you don't really see that much uh, bacon on there. Not surprised, not surprised, but... Uh, we shall find out how it tastes. Anyway, you get four of them. So here's another look at another one. So they're all pretty much the same. Here's the other one, just in case you don't believe me. And we might as well show the last one. Yeah. As you can see here, I got a backup plan if these are pretty disgustingly nasty. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to throw it in the microwave and see what uh, what we get here. Actually, I'm going to open it up and put it on a plate so y'all can take a look. So that's what it looks like on a plate, because apparently you got to leave it in the plastic wrap. It, I'm sure that's nice and healthy, and uh, none of the plastic will get into the food when you microwave it. But yeah, that's the recommended method right there. So I'm going to throw it in the microwave for a minute and see what we end up with. Oh, can you feel the anticipation? Look at that. Doesn't it look sexy in there? And that sweaty bag. I'm like a sexy, sweaty plastic bag right out of your croissant breakfast sandwich. All right. It's a little on the hot side. Not surprising. It just came out of the microwave. Uh, one good thing is the uh, croissant is actually uh, it's actually soft, it's not hard as rock, which I thought it would be. So I might as well take that off there so you can see what we're working with here. Circle egg, circle bacon apparently, bacon comes like that, I've never seen it before. Somewhere in between that there's a slice of American cheese. I gotta throw some ketchup on here. Not sure if that's going to ruin the taste of the sandwich or not, but uh, that's just how I do my breakfast sandwiches. So I can't really rate it without, so hold up. All right, didn't actually mean for that much ketchup to come out, but uh, whatever, it is what it is. Let's cover that up. 
Uh, we're going to have to get to tasting it. So I'm going to cut a piece off so I can eat it with a fork because it's going to be a mess without one. Only because I'm going to be eating it with one hand. Filming. Stay tuned. Alright, so we got it. I'm cutting the piece that I might be able to jam in my mouth here. be honest it doesn't taste horrible a lot better than I expected it to be considering the uh, the luck I have with breakfast sandwiches that were frozen in a box coming out of the freezer it's actually not too bad I'm sure it would taste worse if it was a bagel the croissant makes it uh, a lot more Easier to deal with, I guess you could say. The egg doesn't taste bad. It tastes like egg. I mean, they, they could make the egg a little thicker. You know, because this is what you're working with. Actually, it is. It's not too... Maybe a little more bacon. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, it's all right. But it's not the breakfast sandwich I'd make for myself. My breakfast sandwich would probably be three times less healthier than this one. Because there'd be a whack more load of bacon on there and some cheese. And yeah, so I mean overall it's it's not too bad. It's 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 a lot better than I actually expected it to taste. It's not a gourmet breakfast sandwich by any means, but uh it doesn't taste horrible. It's it, you know, you you can you can deal with it. And like I said, the croissant's actually uh, pretty flaky, pretty soft, not hard at all. Has a decent taste. Uh, the eggs don't taste horrible. The bacon tastes like bacon. It's it's actually not too bad. I mean, I should try a piece without anything on it to give you a... Here, this is what the bacon looks like without anything except a little bit of cheese on there. And the texture is, is pretty uh, pretty bacon like so it's not it's not bad I mean like I said much more uh, enjoyable than I expected it I'm not gonna say it's, it's super awesome because it's not but uh, you know I'd give it like a three out of five on the flavor scale maybe 3.2 yeah 3.2 out of five Value-wise, I'd give it about a 3 out of 5 as well. I think it was like 4 bucks or 3.78 or something for the box of 4. So it wasn't too expensive. It was under $5, so I, I know that much. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. If, if you're into breakfast sandwiches on a croissant and you're not willing to shell out a whole lot of cash and you don't want to get disappointed, this this might be for you. So yeah, it gets a passing grade, passing grade. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for some more food reviews.